Greetings, everybody. Welcome to your video series on an introduction to sociology. The topic for this video, the benefits of studying sociology. Let's get started. So you're required to take a sociology class. Why? Well, we live in a society where hardly anyone has been taught how to think, while millions have been taught what to think. Sociology is designed to help students develop questions, look at society, and learn how to think about society for yourself. You are the future workforce. And what are employers in the 21st century looking for and potential employees? They're looking for people who have good critical thinking skills, who have a sense of creativity, who can work well with others, who have good communication skills, who can look at all the information we're drowning in and sift through it to determine what's good information, what's not good information. Same with the media, looking at what are good media stories and good media sources and what are not so good media stories or media sources. Learning how to use technology for the betterment of our society. Being flexible, developing leadership skills, taking the initiative, reaching high productivity, and lastly, social skills, being able to get along with others. All of these 12 skills sets or items can be developed in a sociology class. And the better you're able to utilize those skills, the better you're going to do in your eventual career. So the classroom of the future already here. The things that we'll be doing in our sociology class is giving you opportunities to understand multiple perspectives, not just your own. To be able to think comparatively and critically, compare and contrast information, look at ideas and things that are going on in our society through a critical lens. Appreciate ambiguity and change. What is ambiguity? That gray area of life that's not quite black or white, yes or no, right or wrong, but all of that sort of could be this, could be that type of thing that tends to drive some of us crazy. Also to be able to appreciate change. We're living in a rapidly changing world and we need to be able to adapt and be flexible with that. Develop empathy for others who are not like us. Sociology is a great class to be able to develop an empath empathic understanding for other people. And of course, to be able to utilize technology. Again, the more you're able to do these five things, the better student you're going to be in your overall college career, and the better you're going to do in the workforce. What is sociology all about? Asking questions, seeking knowledge, finding truth, and ultimately being free. And what are the questions that have led us to life here in the 21st century? Well, somebody asked, what if we put a phone in everybody's hand? And what if that phone were a computer, camera, video recorder, recorder and stereo? The birth of the smartphone. Most of us have smartphones. Most of us can't imagine living without our smartphone. What if we provided anybody with a computer and internet access, a place to shop for books online? That's right. Amazon started out as a book retailer online and, of course, now has expanded to include just about any kind of consumer item you can imagine. What if we provided everybody with an easy-to-use way to search the internet? Hello, Google. Imagine life without Google. And what if we created a platform for people to communicate and share information with each other online? While most of you may not use Facebook any longer, you're using TikTok, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Snapchat, any number of social media apps that allow you to connect to just about anybody in the world. And I love this one. What if we rented out our homes like a hotel? Thank you, Airbnb. What if we offered to drive people around for a fee? Uber to the rescue. And lastly, what if we allowed people a super easy way to conference online? Can you imagine getting through the pandemic without Zoom? So these are some of the questions that have led us to life here in the 21st century. 
Sociology teaches people not to accept easy explanations. It teaches them a way to organize their thinking so that they can ask better questions and formulate better answers. Most people, when they heard those previous questions for the first time, thought the folks who were asking them were, were pretty crazy, right? But sociology makes us more aware that there are many different kinds of people in the world who do not necessarily think the way we do. It increases our willingness and ability to try to see the world from other people's perspectives. This prepares us to live and work in an increasingly diverse and integrated world. No matter what kind of career you're going to go into or what kind of job you hope to secure, at some point you're going to be interacting with people and some of those people, many of those people, are going to be very different than you. They're not going to share your same values, your, sh- your same outlook, perspective, may not even speak your same language. People who graduate from college with a degree in sociology are hired by government agencies and corporations in fields such as social services, counseling, community planning, health services, marketing, market research, and human resources. Even a small amount of training in sociology, like this one sociology class, can be an asset in careers like sales, healthcare, public relations, journalism, teaching, law, and criminal justice. Every class you get to take in college is a learning opportunity. Make the most of it. Let's make this class count. And lastly, often I think people are very disconnected from the society around them. Sociology is important because it provides one with not only a greater understanding of the world around them, but also a sense of self-worth that can encourage us to become a more contributing member of society. Isn't that nice? And that is what you can get out of a sociology class. That's it for now. Thanks for checking in. Never stop learning and remember, sociology is everywhere.